Why welcome, it's Kat right here. So for this video, I'm doing my snowboarding prep. Josh and Shiloh and I are very big snowboarders. Josh and I met and <coughs> dated while we were snowboarder instructors up at Snow Basin. So that's a very, very fun thing that we do together. So every year I go over all the stuff. It doesn't take me very long, but I just have to review everything. And if we're missing like some gloves or any sort of supplies, we make sure to pick them up. So let's go through our snowboard stuff. Okay, so this is my snowboard. Bought it a couple years ago. It's been a great board for me. Definitely like to look at it. It's kind of funny, it's got some fish on the back. But every year, and then multiple times throughout the year, we like to look at the base, the bottom of the board, because as you're snowboarding, that wet snow will just absorb and suck off all that wax. So this is our little tune-up kit. Demon United tune kit that we got off of Amazon. Very, very good little kit. Comes with everything you need. So the first thing, is it has some wax and this little tiny iron. And if it really needs wax, which this one, uh, it doesn't. You just take the wax and kind of go over the top of this. And then it's got this plastic scraper where you just scrape the wax off. And then this is a big file for the side, but this is our cool little, I don't know what Edge grinder. Edge grinder. Just edge tuner the edge tuner. So basically it's got some 90 degree angles on there. You go along here, kind of edge this, and then you go along here to edge that. That's very good. Because you just want to make sure that along the edge, there isn't any bumps or any real scratches. Yeah, looks really good. Let me go over it one time. So anytime through the year, as you look at the board, you can just grab that and just tune it up real good. But if you happen to go over like a rock or do something that takes a huge gash in your board, the tune-up kit came with these pieces of plastic. Basically you take a pocket knife and you just drip it into the hole and you kind of file it down. So that's what these little plastic poles are for. <clears throat> But looking at this board, I don't see, actually it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Okay, so I'm done checking mine. Now we gotta check at Josh and Shiloh's and see how theirs are doing. But while I'm standing here, I'm gonna show you all the boards. You can definitely see how Josh and I have kind of built up a little pile of boards here and here, most of them are Josh's, but we've kept a lot of our boots. Well, we have this old one. You can tell it's definitely been used. It's got a little fat on it. This one here was a big one of Josh's while we were dating and <laughs> instructors. He really liked this board. So is that um, the green one, your oldest one, or is it this Burton? That Burton one's probably the oldest. Okay. Yeah, she pulled that thing out, it's like 50 pounds. <laughs> So this board is definitely the oldest. This, I mean, look at those bindings. This sucker is dirty. It hasn't been dusted for quite a while, but man, this board is probably like 30 years old. Close yeah, to it. Pretty close to 30 years old, but we are not getting rid of this board. This is a cool board. This would be a cool board to like make as a... Mm -mm. <laughs> Make a table out of it. No, or, it's no. a collector's edition. Oh, it's a collector's edition. Okay. Yeah, we're not. Well, let's take a look at Josh and Shiloh's boards. So this is Josh's board. He's got a couple of 
gashes right here. You probably can't see them, but we have kind of filled them with wax. But I'm sure we'll have to tune that up a little bit more as the year goes by. But if you look down this, we'll just give it a good rub. So I kind of tuned this, got rid of all the burrs along the edge. As you're doing it, you don't want to go as it starts to curve. You want to do it to not quite on the top. <clears throat> but one thing you can also see, I don't know if you can see it well in the camera, but the wax has kind of a shiny look to it. Kind of looks glazed almost. And then as the year goes by and you're using it more, then it starts looking porous and that glaze goes away. And if you're using your board a lot, you have to do some multiple time waxes. <clears throat> but for the most part, his board looks wonderful because this is a fairly, fairly new board also. So let's try shadows. So this is an interesting board. I bought Josh this board when we were dating <clears throat> and it's a very nice board, but it's kind of, we don't really use it anymore because cursed. <laughs> it is a bit cursed. Just about everybody that has used it has broken something, fallen and hurt themselves. I have broken my ankle once when we were snowboarding and I was on this board. I was going pretty fast and caught an edge and flipped and twisted my ankle. And um, so yeah, this one kind of just is a memory, but we do not use this baby anymore. But this board here is Shiloh's. Shiloh definitely is getting better every year, but let's check his board. Okay, looks like it definitely could use a little sharpening. <laughs> So I've been really lucky because I knew that boards needed to be kept tuned, but Josh, as he was in high school, he worked at a snowboarding shop and that's basically what he did a lot was board tune-up. So he is the one that has taught me how to do this and he's still very, very quick at this. He can wax a board in no time. He's very, very good at it. So let's just look at this other edge. Yep, yeah, definitely has a shine to it. Not seeing any gashes. Awesome. Well, this one is looking good also. So let me just show you our back, my bags. Okay, so let me just show you the bags. These two bags are mine. This one has all like my snowboarding pads. It's got all my thermals, a lot of extra stuff, just in case we have friends or family come over and they need it. We definitely keep a lot of extra. This is a really cool board because it has a pocket for my boots in the bottom. So as you just shove them, keep them separate. Really, really nice. But this is my little handbag. So if we're going snowboarding, I just grab this. It has like my gloves, it's got hats, it's got goggles, and I've got my snow basin pass. So what are the main things you need to go for sure? So just the, pull them out. We got some gloves here, got some goggles. These are some older goggles. Got my nice little cozy hat. I love my little hat. Got my snowboard pass. These are my nice goggles that I like, but like I said, I like to have a pair or two. This is Josh's bag, and I think he's got like four pairs of goggles, and they're all pretty nice goggles. So if somebody needs some, we just grab some from one of our bags. And this is just another thermal jacket. I got some socks in here. Got another jacket. I think I got a pocket knife and some other things in these side pockets, but as long as you have all this, you can go and have some fun snowboarding or even sledding. <laughs> so this is my bag, but definitely in the morning before we go snowboarding, Josh and Shiloh and I kind of check with each other. Okay, you got your bag, you got your gloves 
and your goggles and your hat, but the most important thing is definitely your pass because if you don't have your pass, somebody can't loan you a pass. You can't borrow somebody's pass or just like you could borrow their gloves, but this is my snow racing pass from last year. I definitely need to get a new one with a new picture, but and um, another thing that we always keep on us is like a pocket knife. It's really cool because my snowboard pants have a zipper down at the bottom of screwdriver. them that has a screwdriver. It's kind of a screwdriver and a pocket knife just for the bindings. Because it's a good idea to check the bindings occasionally, especially the first day you go, but you just don't want those bindings getting loose. So it's good to have a screwdriver that you can just tighten those if you happen to be in a situation that you need it. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This has been really fun. This is all that you have to do. This is all that you need to get ready. And I'm really excited to go snowboarding. I love to go snowboarding. We go to Snow Basin, which is fairly close, but there's definitely tons of resorts that we can go to. I'm sure we'll try to hit one or two other resorts so we can kind of test out different places. But to tell you the truth, it is so fun to go with Josh because he is an amazing snowboarder. It is so fun to watch him. And sometimes I watch him and kind of see him carving and doing his turn and I'll like follow his pattern and stuff. And He's a wonderful instructor and he's been a great instructor to Shiloh and some of Shiloh's cousins. But anyway, thanks for watching. And if you liked what you see, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.